Hi, it's KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Tech Sergeant Tyler Kenimer from the U.S. Air Force Band of Mid-America, uh, based in Illinois, doing a uh, Iowa swing here over the next couple of weeks. Tyler, welcome. Oh, thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Yeah, great, great to have you. Great to uh, uh, great to learn a little bit more about this band. We, I have to tell you, we are big fans of the Airmen of Note here at KCCK. We uh, uh, we played a lot of the CDs and a lot of the specials, so we're uh, uh, we you know really really enjoy uh, that band, and uh, I'm really happy to know a little bit more about this one. So uh, let's lead off by telling me a little bit about the Air Force Band of Mid America. Uh, so it will be our Shades of Blue ensemble coming um, to Iowa from August 7th through the 11th. We'll have a bunch of uh, evening performances, uh, some during the day as well. We'll get you more information on that in a bit. Uh, but we are a 13-member ensemble, uh, 12 musicians on stage, and then we have an audio engineer out front of house. Uh, so a little bit smaller format than the Airmen of Note, as you mentioned. Um, but we also come out of uh, kind of bigger concert band, marching band uh, scenarios where the full band comes together. We have about 60 people, uh, give or take, uh, and we all splinter off into different small groups, different genres of music, traveling across the country, uh, playing for local communities such as yours. Oh, excellent. Uh, and then, uh, so you mentioned, so this is, uh, so you mentioned marching band and concert band and this, you know, kind of a, uh, uh, kind of a jazz band. What do you play? Uh, mostly playing, uh, in this ensemble, uh, playing drums, um, but also have to do everything from classical percussion through, uh, marching band as well. And, uh, was in a rock band last year. I mean, they just kind of put us wherever they need us, and it's up to the musicians to carry that skill set to be uh, truly versatile for whatever the uh, mission requires. Sure. What's your musical background, Tyler? Uh, well, I went to college at the University of North Texas for percussion performance, uh, and then went to Indiana University for my master's. Uh, did a bit of freelancing, uh, cruise ship work, played with some orchestras a little bit, and then uh, won this job. Uh, we have competitive auditions we host, and then you fly out for the live audition and uh, compete against other people. And then if you get that job, go through the whole basic training process. And I've been doing this for the past nine years now, uh, and still also fortunately get to play with some pretty high level artists on the outside uh, locally and around the country if the opportunity presents itself. Well, coming through the programs at North Texas and at Indiana, yeah. you uh, are a pretty high level talent yourself. Um, tell me about some of your experiences on the road with, uh, you know, with, with this, the Shades of Blue ensemble or with the larger band. You mentioned getting to play with some uh, pretty great folks. What are some of those memories? Um, so, I've only been stationed here for about two years at Scott Air Force Base. We're in uh, Southern Illinois, and the jazz band uh, just recently started up again. Uh, after COVID and everything, uh, we weren't able to hire as many people during that time. So as people retired, the bands kind of shrunk. Uh, we're getting back to full size again. Um, so this is probably only our second or third time out on the road uh maybe started back in april i want to say uh so we haven't actually gotten to play in this format a whole lot together so it's it's fun to be getting back into the swing of things uh, i think one of the one of the cooler moments that i've had though uh was several years ago playing at the international trump convention uh with the air force academy band falconeers big band um, and got to do a, a concert with Randy Brecker. So fun time doing very nice. high profile gigs like that. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. We've had, we met, we met Randy a few years ago. He, uh, uh did a guest appearance and clinic here on, uh, on our campus and he was delightful. And of course, just, you know, an amazing player as well. Absolutely. Uh, you're going to be doing several dates beginning the 7th of August in the uh, in the Iowa area. You're going to be hitting uh, Muscatine, Waverly, Dubuque, um, 
University Park. And the closest one for most of our listeners here at KCCK will be uh, Saturday the 10th at the Herbert Hoover Historic Site in West Branch. Is this part of a larger summer tour or are you just hitting the road for these gigs and then going back and doing something else as time goes on? Uh, yeah, we're just we're just out for a few days uh, and then coming back to home base, splintering out into different groups after this. Uh, but usually have something going pretty much every month. And uh, if you check our website, uh, afbandtix.com, that's T-I-X, um, that could give you ticket information. Obviously, all of our concerts are uh, free to the public. Um, let you know what's coming up next and also if you search for us on facebook at usaf band of mid america or instagram at band of mid america uh can give you more about not only what our ensemble is doing but uh the whole band of mid america at large tell me a little bit about the repertoire on this tour for the jazz band um so we don't always have a vocalist with us but for this tour we're fortunate enough to uh steal another vocalist in, in the across the Air Force uh, from the Academy Band. Um, so we're going to have a decent amount of traditional kind of Frank Sinatra, uh, Michael Buble kind of things, but also some more modern arrangements by fellow military musicians, um, some classics, uh, Count Basie, Sammy Nestico, Glenn Miller, uh, just a real eclectic mix of big band history so hopefully something a little out there that everyone will like uh, well you've uh, it sounds like you're hitting all the bases uh and uh several chances to see this band across uh, our little portion of eastern iowa as i mentioned closest one to us will be uh, the 10th uh, at west branch and again tyler mentioned that website again where people and the, also the social media channels where people can find out about not only these shows but also other activities of, the, of your band Absolutely. So our Facebook and Instagram probably have our schedules. Uh, Facebook is USAF Band of Mid America, and our Instagram handle is at Band of Mid America. And then our website where you could find tickets for performances, although I don't think you'll be needing tickets for a lot of these. Uh, some of these are at outdoor venues. Uh, obviously, just show up. There will be plenty of seating. Um, and that website is AF Band Ticks. TIX.com. All right. Well, uh, pleasure to talk to you, Tyler, and uh, safe travels. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, hearing the band at one of these gigs in Iowa. Thank you so much. Look All forward right. to Take seeing care. you there. Have a good Thanks. one. Bye. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio many weekdays at 1030 or download the podcast. Watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or using your favorite podcast app. You can also watch our videos there on the KCCK Facebook and YouTube channels. Our producer is Lydia Kilgore. I'm Dennis Green, and I'll talk to you later.